What's up guys, it's that time of year, uh, winter's coming, it's getting colder, it's a great time to start looking at winterizing your bug out bag, adding some more things in for that cold winter weather. So I just thought I would show you a few things that I do. Uh, let's do it real quick. Number one, clothing, that's the biggest thing. You gotta stay warm when you're out there. A lot of times I just have a regular pair of socks, um, a t-shirt, some pants, um, but I add in some warmer stuff, so I've got it when I need it. The other thing is, if you don't have chapstick, make sure you have some chapstick in there. The cold, dry weather, uh, that can become an issue. Plus, chapstick has a bunch of different uses. Your hands get cold, your tootsies get cold. Things like this uh, take up no space. They're super cheap, and they can really help you out in a bad situation, keeping yourself warm. So. Hot hands, hand warmers, and things like that are always great. Your eyes can be sensitive to bright sun, especially when there is snow on the ground. Um, also wind and things like that will irritate the eyes. Some sunglasses, throw those in there, um, just a cheap pair, it's really gonna help you. Fire becomes even more important when it's super cold. You gotta keep yourself warm, you've gotta make your food, you've gotta do whatever you gotta do. So make sure that your fire kit is stocked and ready to go, have extra, fire starting gear, anything else you can put in there, especially in those winter months. Last but not least is calories. Now when it's colder, you have to have more calories to keep yourself warm, your body's working harder. Add some additional calories into that bug out bag.